If you like to use garlic when you're cooking, it's actually one of the easier crops to grow. The progression is I put the cloves in the ground like last October, I heavily mulched it with the hay straw, and now we're actually ready to harvest already into the end of July as normal, but I think because we're so dry, I'm starting early. And I'm looking for half the leaves to be dry is the timing. On almost everything I grow, I actually use a drip tube. And this year I ran out, so I left one row to be completely dry. So I'm curious to see if this is gonna be more advanced than the non-irrigated areas. Wow. Now you want to avoid damaging the garlic because it probably will rot early. We're also going to leave the stems on and the roots on for about two weeks. We'll take clumps of garlic, probably seven in a group. And we'll just hang them in the garage in a uh, very, very dry, out of sun location. If you want to wash the garlic, wait till after that two week curing period and you'll be able to maybe just flake off one of the outside sheaths and then you'll get that really bright white look. But this garlic's looking really good. So it's amazing the difference you can get between an irrigated and non-irrigated. Remember, now is the time to start finding your garlic so you can be ready to plant this fall. We'll see you again next time.